Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and this is the Frugal Sim News for today, Sunday, May the 15th. First up, courtesy of a bunch of viewers that pointed this out, incidentally on a previous video, FA Simulations Helsinki for X-Plane has been released. Now this is scenery that covers the Helsinki metropolitan area, mainly for VFR flying. So the guys have been collaborating with True Scenery, uh, who are working on Helsinki Malmi and Echo Foxtrot Hotel Victor airports, which apparently complement this scenery pack. But FA Simulations Helsinki comes in at 5.9 gigabytes of data and uses high-res autophotos as a resolution of 50 centimeters per pixel. It features custom traffic on actual roads moving at correct speeds according to the press release and custom lighting for dusk, dawn and night. It also includes a couple of custom airports, notably Echo Foxtrot November Uniform and Echo Foxtrot Mike November and enhances Echo Foxtrot Hotel Kilo, Echo Foxtrot Hotel Foxtrot and Echo Foxtrot Hotel Victor. Overall, the scenery covers 4,000 square kilometers, including highly detailed forests in the area, has hand-edited shorelines, and claims to be frame rate optimized. The price, $29.95. More information if you're interested at the fasimulations.com link in the show notes below. Next up, and sticking with X-Plane, Alabeo have started previewing their upcoming Alabeo Twin Star. Now, this follows on from the FSX version released back in March, and the video you're watching is from Alabeo's new YouTube channel, S. Alabeo and Caronado, both recently formed YouTube channels. The Alabeo Twin Star for X-Plane will feature the G1000 PFD and MFD, including, of course, terrain awareness mode. It has custom night lighting effects in the cockpit, full scroll wheel support. I think they actually say, I haven't got the notes in front of me, but I think they actually say precise or perfect scroll wheel support, which would be awesome. Expect the rest of the feature set to follow the original aircraft, so high-res 4K textures, custom sounds, custom flight model, and so on. No price yet, but do take a look at the video, which is linked in the show notes below. Moving back on over to the world of FSX and Prepared, and Alabeo's sister company, Caronado, recently released the Commander Strike 500S. Now, I'd never heard of a Commander Strike before, so I actually looked it up, and it was an aircraft designed in the 40s based on a similar layout to the Douglas aircraft A-20 bomber, and as a result, it's quite unique looking. The aircraft supports integration with the Flight 1 GTN 750 or the Reality XP GNS 530. If you don't have either of those, then you can use the built-in Caronado GNS 530. Now, there's some interesting points on the release notes or press notes of this product, including this one, takeoff, run, and landing, real rolling movement effect. I actually honestly don't know what that means, but if you're familiar with the Commander Strike, I'm presuming you probably do. The aircraft has the 500S autopilot, 4K textures, an accurate sound set, a control panel to optimize features of the aircraft or turn them on and off based on your machine, and the usual array of Caronado PDF documents for checklist performance, non-normals, etc. The price is $37.95, which will get you both the FSX and prepared two and three versions of the aircraft. More information at the Caronado link in the show notes below. Next up, Lear 35 Immersion. Now, I've covered FSFX packages because I love saying their name a few times on the show. They are a company or a little team that produces uh, vapor-based and moisture-based effects for aircraft. And they have announced that they're coming out with the Lear 35 Immersion Pack. Not much has been announced about it yet, but typically their immersion packs feature um, vapor trails, better rain, volumetric lighting in fog and clouds, spray on the runway, engine vortex effects, and much, much more. I've linked the video from FSFX Packages in the show notes below. Do keep an eye on FSFX Packages. Love to say that on Facebook.com. More information as I get it. Next up, Aerosoft Mega Airport Prague. Now, this was actually developed by XHT Labs and, of course, covers the Czech, the Czech capital's main airport. It has animated wind socks, accurate, they actually say precise, night lighting and ground markings, custom approach lights, moving car traffic, animated billboards, low-vis procedure support, because in Prague they actually get a lot of low cloud, fog, rain and stuff like that. The price is $25.99, sorry, $25.99. I said dollars again, 25 euros and 99 from Aerosoft's website, which is linked in the show notes below, and it covers both FSX and Prepared. Sticking with Aerosoft, they also this week previewed Aerosoft Pisa X. 
Now this is scenery coming soon which covers the entire city of Pisa in Italy including of course the Leaning Tower as well as the cathedral and the stadium. It features photo real ground imagery, 2K textures but with an option to drop those textures down to 1K for weaker machines. Fully internally modeled tower and terminal, of course, static aircraft, military and civil vehicles, and that static aircraft actually includes military aircraft as well, because the airport does double as a military base. No news of a release date or price yet, it does look really clean though, and I'm looking forward to seeing it when it does release. I expect it, however, to match the usual Aerosoft price range, putting this at around €26 Euros on release. More information at the Aerosoft forums link in the show notes below. Next up, now this one, I'm, I wasn't sure about putting this in, but I put it in. Perfect Flight Ultimate B717-200 has just been released. Now I think this is a reduced complexity aircraft. I haven't seen it to be sure, and it says that it supports full animations of all moving items and surfaces, strobes and beacons modeled to Boeing specs, but you'd expect that if you're simulating a Boeing aircraft, right? Has a realistic sound set, built-in external views, including wing views, and has been pre-configured to work with Gareth's, Gareth Smith's free FMC app. The feature set also lists, this is weird, 24 missions, all feature detailed soundtracks to cover the ambient sounds of the flight crew and cabin and all that stuff. Now, this is why I was questioning this one. This is an update to uh, another product called Fly the B-17, sorry, B-717. Owners of that product get an upgrade to this one for just 975 euros. The full price of this one is 1950 euros. It's only available for FSX, however, and on Sim Market at least, it has one review up and it is not flattering. So you might want to do your research before diving in. I'd never heard of these guys before I, it, it kind of arrived in my inbox. But there you have it. More information at the Sim Market link in the show notes below for the Perfect Flight Ultimate B717-200. And finally, this one came literally out of nowhere. It's actually for last week, and obviously I didn't do a proper news show last week, so I missed it. The WX Advantage Weather Radar. Now, this has been developed by Rex and Milviz, and it's a weather radar, a proper simulation of a weather radar based on the Bendix RDR-4B that can be used with any weather engine, yes, including Active Sky Next. It features a high-res 3D precipitation density map, high-res precipitation cell data produced by examining each cloud in the sim, again, meaning it should play nicely with Active Sky Next. It includes full simulation of the tilt functions on the weather radar, as well as the gain features, and it will even highlight wet runways where rain recently fell but may not be falling now. Apparently it's very easy to install in any aircraft you own or you can use it as a floating panel. It is currently on an introductory offer price thing of $24.95. I was remiss and didn't manage to spot what the final price is going to be but for more information head on over to the Rex Simulations link in the show notes below. So that's it for this week's episode. I have to get back to work preparing my speech for the upcoming Flight Sim Con. Hope to see many of you there on June 13th, I think it is. Until next time, though, my name is Frugal. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.